what if we tried to make Mars habitable? Mars, a planet of mystery, a world that billions of years ago was alive. Once, Mars had water, oceans stretched across its surface, rivers carved deep canyons, a thick atmosphere protected it from the cold of space. Some scientists believe it could have even hosted life. But something went wrong. Mars had a small core, too small to keep its heat. As it cooled, the planet lost its magnetic field, and with it, its protection. And Mars died. But what if we could bring it back? What if we could rebuild its atmosphere, melt its ice, and create a world where humans could one day live. Today, we're going to try. Using Universe Sandbox and our imagination, we will terraform Mars step by step, turning it into a planet that could one day be habitable. This is the rebirth of Mars. Now, let's begin. Mars lacks a large moon, which could have helped stabilize its climate over time. To help terraform Mars, we will add Luna, Earth's moon, into orbit around the planet. But keep in mind, Luna wouldn't restart Mars's magnetic field. We will place Luna in a stable orbit around Mars to maximize its effects on the planet. Now let's fast forward through time to check if everything is working as expected. All set, we're done here. Now we are going to create a new atmosphere for Mars. We're going to pick a random asteroid and use launch mode to send it toward Mars. But before we start time again, we will edit the asteroid to contain argon, carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen, with a specific amount appropriate for Mars size. Now, let's start time again. We will run it slowly until the asteroid hits Mars. As the asteroid enters Mars's atmosphere, friction heats it up, creating a bright fireball. Upon impact, it releases massive amounts of energy, generating intense heat and sending debris into the sky. The collision vaporizes part of the asteroid, releasing argon, carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen into the atmosphere, helping to thicken it. Over time, these gases will spread across the planet, bringing us one step closer to making Mars more Earth-like. Now, for the final step, we will add more atmospheric layers through the settings. As the atmosphere forms, let's check if the temperature is rising. At this level, life should be forming. Let's enable city lights and vegetation. They will only appear if the planet can support life. Let's hide the atmosphere to check. As you can see, we did it. But Mars still has very little water. Let's add more and use collision impacts to warm the planet even further. I will gradually reduce the water's speed to avoid anything going wrong. Everything looks okay. Now, let's settle the water across the planet. Mars looks incredible now. A once barren world is now a planet full of potential. Minus 8 degrees Celsius, that's a success for Mars. The city's lights are finally showing up, 